hi everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to see one of the new release experience for sharepoint list forms or microsoft list forms so i have opened one of the my sharepoint site and you see over here we have a new neighbor in this tool pane which is forms so this is not the actual form where we used to fill our data this is a form which gives us a new experience of collecting the data or like sending or filling out the information to the end users and directly saving that to your sharepoint list or microsoft list so the same option we see when we go directly to our list so you can open list you will find a list over here and if you create any new list and i can just choose that from blanks or from templates and i can save that in any sharepoint site or i can save that directly into my list and i can name that as new and create it so this will create a list into my list in office 365 and over here with the forms i can build out a new form which can be used to collect feedback surveys or can be shared directly with the users and once they fill out they'll get a response and that response will be saved in this list so this same experience is there in my list and as well as in any of the sharepoint list so this is one of my sharepoint list which is meant to be collect the skill repository for my all employees so if i want to create or broadcast this form to all employees so that they can fill out their uh, skills information and that can be directly saved into sharepoint list so this can be built out so i'll be creating one new form and this form i'll say skill set request and you see i have all the columns listed over here as in form and i can move these i can change the title i can add the description and as well as i can modify the column there itself so for example if i click on this settings you would get that same column settings page where you can change the column options or you can make it required default values whatever you can and in years of experience this is a choice field you can very well change it to single line of text or any other field and change the name so right now i have this age as a single line of text so i want to change that to choice so i'll just simply go to choice and we'll put it as age groups and on saving this column this form column field would also get changed and in this we have options to just move around or change the order of this form and also we can hide it we can just uncheck this so it will be disappeared from our form we can simply do that and in themes we can choose the themes which we want to apply for this form so there are default these themes and we can create our own theme so you can just pick your primary color your background color and can build out any of the themes and under settings we have this setting so once the form is submitted what response or the what text you want to showcase to your end user that you can modify and lastly we have this send form which is nothing but a copy link so you can directly copy this link and send out the forms to or broadcast this form to the users and over here you can preview your form so that will open up this form and you can see we have the updated forms over here and the, the 
choices which we changed lastly is also there. So once we send this, we copy this link and send out to all the employees, they can put out, they can fill out this survey, they can fill out their information and that information will directly be saved into SharePoint list. And in this case, we are not going to use any other capabilities like MS form, which would be submitting the data to MS form. And then we are going to create a power automate to save the data in SharePoint. So right now we are reducing one step of power automate or flow to save the data into SharePoint. So this is very handy when you want to create the simple survey forms or the feedback collection forms. So right now we don't have capability of branching or having multiple uh, show height based on the conditional properties. So for example, if I am selecting some specific skill type and some, some other sort of input text boxes or input controls should come up. So that is not there, but it's, it could be very handy when you want to collect a feedback for the simple fields for a plain generic forms. So when I open directly this form, I'll close the other windows. So it will be like this and let me just fill out. So I'll just paste my skill, name and select years of experience and age. I am submitting it so it will show the response which we set up in our settings and over here let me paste it again and it will allow me to fill the responses multiple times so this form opened up and once once you are done with the taking response you can do you can go very well back to the forms and just say stop accepting response and I'll just stop accepting response so the form is closed if I refresh the form just to update I'll get you are we are not accepting responses at this moment so that's how you can build out simple service so this was earlier in preview for last one one and a half month now it's rolled out to all the tenants so that's why I thought like it could be handy if we want to use it to build out simple service so that is it for today's video if you have any question please do drop your comment